Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Sorry I've been gone so long. We got uh, a video for you today. This is a uh, Dell 1545, Inspirion 1545, rather old laptop, still works fine. What we're going to do today is upgrade the processor, and we've already upgraded the RAM. All that is the memory. Just pop it out, seat it, pop it back down, done. That's easy. To get the processor out, you need a little screwdriver, and there's a little screw on the back side, straight blade, oops, this one, and you just put it in there and turn it counterclockwise, bring your processor out, your CPU out. Now I know you're supposed to wear static stuff and all, I've never ruined a processor or anything. You got no battery, no nothing. You're not walking on carpet. You sh you're good. Okay, we're going to upgrade to a T9600. This is the fastest CPU that will go in uh, 1545. And this one was a... T66. The best part about this upgrade is the... The T66 is 2 meg cache. This is six, I do believe. You read it. Six meg. That's a 2.8 for speed there. Um, and it's 18.66, and this is 800. Oops, we don't need that one anymore anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna put this T9600 in. Drop it in. That's really easy to do because you you got a little gold diamond on one corner. That always goes towards the top. I've never seen an Intel. It always goes to the to the top up. Okay. You take your screwdriver. You hold your processor down with one finger, and you turn clockwise the screw. Just turn it clockwise and it's seated. Alright. Next, I like to take a little rag, a very small amount of rubbing alcohol, clean the top of the CPU, clean the top of the. Ooh, that's got a little junkies on it. Clean the top of the video card. So they're shiny. They should look like a little mirror, a little piece of glass when you're done. Like that. They're very shiny. Okay. Make sure your fan's clear. Set this aside. Next thing you gotta do is clean your heat sink. Because factory they put that foam or I guess they call it foam, I call it foam, and this is terrible to get off. This old uh, compound, it's terrible. You just take it very lightly on the edge of your screwdriver, don't scratch the, the cooler up, and get that off there though. Because this has to be clean. All right. Hang on one sec. We'll be right back. All right, YouTube. To put a new hard drive in, all you got to do is you want your sticker side, your label side up. Here's your uh, where the drawer is. Put your hard drive in. And you take your little screws. If I can get one here. And you just put your little screws in. One on each side. Some some hard drive holders trays have four screws. 
in most of the newer computers the hard drive is inside the computer this one happens to be a quick quick swap and then you just slide it in to the body of the computer and then you got two or more of the same size and shape screws and there's two holes for your hard drive and that's it alright guys alright this is the stuff I use right here MX4 thermal compound it's made by Arctic and um, I found that it works better than Arctic Silver 5 because this this is basically the same stuff only they've improved it this is the 2019 edition whatever all I know is it works great okay you need a very small amount you need to put some on each one right in the middle and just use the tip and move it around on there ah. Get Mr. out of the way there. Next, put it just a little more. <sighs> you don't need much. It's just to transfer the heat into the actual cooler. Then you take your cooler, make sure she's clean, your fins, everything is clean, and you drop her into place. Move her around just a little bit, just, just to seat the compound. And then you tighten your screws. And I, let me get organized here. We'll be right back. All right, guys. I, I got all some of the stuff off here. Now we're going to start the video card side. Just start it. Don't tighten it all the way up. Then you need to get your CPU screws. Just start each one just a little bit. So you know they're lined up. And then you can go around, tighten this one down, and then do these in an X pattern. Crisscross. There. And that's how you upgrade your CPU, clean your video card, or drive uh, chip. And then we're going to install a Seagate 500 gig hard drive. And that's how you upgrade your CPU. And then, I, and then all you got to do is install your cover back on the back. There's little clippies. Let me get these screws started a little first. They'll just snap down. There's a little snap there. I think there's one down here. And that's the size of it, guys. Clean, you can clean off some of the old garbage and I don't think you need the old stickers anymore, the old licenses. They come off real easily and you can clean all the leftover up with a, just a tiny bit of alcohol. They come off pretty darn good. Alright, 
And as you can see, all of this can be cleaned up too with a rag. It's a little bit of alcohol. All right. There we go. That's how you upgrade your CPU and your memory in a 1545. Dell 1545. All right, guys. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye-bye.